Hey everyone, stupid crows, get out of the way. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts. I'm Ennis, and last time we helped Boyd with his paranoid mind and rescued the milkman within it. Wow, that's a really cool reflection of the moon. Anyways, this time... We're going to be going into the insane asylum, which Boyd unlocked for us after we helped him, and checking out what's here. Ooh, a crow's feather. Ooh, a brain. JT's brain? How'd this little doggy get out of the pen? Excellent find, a fellow cadet's brain. If you take it back to Fort Crawl for recranialization, you'll totally your total mental health potential will be increased. Yes, I got a brain. Finally, now your ears won't whistle so much when the wind blows. <laughs> no, I meant I recovered a stolen brain. Oh, I know what you meant. Yes, you and Sasha. No sense of humor when you're on a mission, hmm? Well, are you gonna come back here so we can recranialize that noodle while it's still al dente? <laughs> I love the humor in this game. Hey boy, why are you trying to burn down the asylum? I am the milkman. My employer has commissioned me to deliver this milk oh. to whitewash what went on here. Okay. Don't worry, Frankie. I'll put this one right next to Kitty's. Hmm. I make sure no evidence is left of anything except for milk. I cannot rest until I have made my final delivery. All right, then. What do I look like? Well, what? Think. I glitched out. <laughs> oh wow, Raz looks like milked him. Cool, gold watch. Anyways, ah, here. Anyways, card. Ooh, brain. Kitty's brain. You know, I hate to say it, but it is better groomed than the rest of the brains. Kitty has a better groomed brain, I guess. Thank you, all of you. You're all so kind. You make a girl so happy. Excuse me. Ma'am, but did you see a girl? You must be my new leading man. Aren't you handsome? But, my gracious, you're so young. Tell me why do they keep casting me with such mere babes? I guess that's the curse of having an eternally young face. Could be. Ooh, what's in here? Attack! No, wait! Don't listen to him! Retreat! Shut up, you fool! The battle is ours! Wellington is on the run! This is our moment of glory! Oh, shut up, you loon. The battle can't be won! We're gonna lose it! I'm afraid you lost it years ago, Fred. Now pipe down over there. I am the orderly, and I run a quiet, peaceful, insane asylum. Understood? <laughs> oh, now, see? You've disrupted Mr. Tagley's art therapy session. <laughs> Whatever. Everything's going black. Hey there. Excuse me, sir? My name is Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, uh, excuse me. Mr. Bonaparte. Shh, I only think I'm Napoleon Bonaparte. Do not listen to the weakling. He denies his lineage because he felt it. You'll have to excuse me. I am busy losing a battle with my sanity here. For France! Yep. Uh, my trusted spy. Tell me what you know. 
Oh wow, I love this power up. I look like that doctor. Greetings, Dr. Lobotta. Up to the secret laboratory then, is it? One moment. You're not Dr. Lobotto. My eyes may be half gone, but I would recognize the mad doctor anywhere. He's got a stone-cold face a man doesn't easily forget. He wears a beastly smock covered in thick straps like an electric chair. And in the place where his hands should be, there's nothing but a gleaming metal claw. So if I'm not mistaken, you're not Dr. Lobotta, you don't pay my salary, so kindly back away from my elevator and die. Thank you, sir. Where'd everybody go? Is everybody dead? Wow, he is pretty mean. Help Fred win the battle in his mind. Trick the elderly into letting me in the elevator. Or tr trick the orderly. Not the elderly. Find a claw for a Lobotta costume. Find a lab coat for the butter costume. Find a face for the butter costume. Uh, okay, phew. For a second I thought I would make it. What you painting there? That is my patron, my psychiatrist, my warden. Looks like Dr. Lobato to me. Is he the one who chained you up? The doctor won't let me go until I complete my treatment. So why don't you just finish the painting and go home? Why don't I just... Sometimes you just have to... Huh. You painted a bullfight over the doctor's face. Why a bullfight? Huh? Huh, Edgar, why do you... Every time! Every time it is the same! The matador! The bull! How I despise you both! But my hands won't let you go. Ah! That is why I am here, chained in more ways than you can see. A prisoner of art. A prisoner of art. Well, uh, I'm gonna go downstairs. You good? I'm good. So, Edgar is something. And obsessed with bulls. <laughs> so then. Ooh, brain, brain, brain. Oh, no. Oh, come on. So. Chaps. What is up, gang? So, I don't think getting this brain will be so easy. Okay, phew. Um, what, what? I hear you. Oh, I get it. Oh, you need to use invisibility, okay? You want a court martial too? Well, I got one for you too. And you, buddy. Okay. I'm gonna cut out until more crows come. Okay, that's how you do it. Maybe. I'm surprised Milka's brain doesn't go invisible when I get close to it. Hmm. Why are you all working against me? Okay, well, we're not going to get into the bottom lab. Let's put back up this, because I can. 
Oder? Okay. Oh, I'm her autographing a picture. Wow, talk about conceited. Ah, oh, this will work for the claw. Oh, you found my old trophy. I should really put that thing away before somebody hurts themselves on that gleaming metal claw-like part on the top. Say, would you like to hear the story of how I won that award, dear boy? Or are you trying to take it because you don't think I deserve it? No, no, you deserve it. I didn't take anything from you. I didn't ask to be famous. I just wanted you to love me. Hey. What? You're supposed to be dead. <gasps> ah! Okay, crazy lady's crazy. Good to know. Seriously, wait, I seriously can't jump through that? Wow. Well... We... We got several brains. We've seen three new patients. Who will be going into their mind soon. So before we go. Oh, wait, what's over here? Before we. Yes, brain. Better give him a loose brain and kill ASAP so we can protect him. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, more brains. More brain, I should say. How Chloe sneezed this one through that helmet will never know. Hmm. <laughs> The Joker. Yay. Okay, so before we go into anyone's mind, I think a good idea will be to return some brains. With the power of bacon. Delicious. I need to regroup back at HQ. Affirmative. Prepare for extraction. Rasputin, come up here. There's something you should see. Oh, better follow him. After I get this card, of course. Oh, come on, come on, make it, make it, make it. Yes. You're the only one left, son. Can't even make a connection with Sasha or Mia right now for some reason. Sasha said he had some official Psychonauts business. Impossible. I would know it if they did. No, something's happened to them. Rasputin, listen. You're the only one who can stop Oleander now. What about you? I... I can't leave this cave, Rasputin. Not as the Ford Crawler you know. What? Why? Years ago, I was in a terrible psychic duel that left me barely alive. Yeah, I read about that. They said your psyche was shattered, that you lost your mind. But you seem fine to me. Yes, when I'm down here, near the Citanium Motherlode, the concentrated power of the Citanium pulls my thoughts together, keeps me like my old self, but if I leave this sanctuary, my psyche becomes disjointed, and I fall into one of my other personalities, 
with no memory of who I really am. I'd be no use to you unless you needed something rigged or, or marked. Well, you can call headquarters and get help. The Psychonauts won't listen to me. They wrote me off as a loon years ago. That's why Sasha and Mia have to take on all my missions. Headquarters doesn't know I'm the one behind the assignment, so they'd never get approved. But Sasha and Mia seem to be out of commission now. You have to be my field agent, Rasputin. Are you ready? Yes. Good. You have to find where that monster took the girl. And if you locate any of the other children's brains along the way, bring them back to me for recranialization. Understand? Ew. I mean, yes, sir. Well, we got our mission, and we already have several brains, so... Well, the good thing about you finding that kid's brain, besides the whole thinking and feeling they'll be able to do now, is that they will be adding their subconscious mental attention to your quest, and their energy will increase your mental health potential. That sounds great. But is the surgery going to be dangerous? Nothing's dangerous when you have the right tools. Messy, yes, but not dangerous. And so that's why, even though she is a girl, and we are good friends, she is not technically my girlfriend. Well, I can tell you one thing. My dad is never going to send me to this camp again. Where's Kitty? Never mind. I'll find her. So, as you can imagine, we are in some bad trouble. Sounds like it's time something bad happened to our fine coach. Well, let me tell you what our plan is. Please, you have your plan, I have mine. But say no more. And so, long story short, we're hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. Well, there's only one thing that can make this better. Pedicure, see ya. The end. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna go get on the coach's radio and call for help. See, now that's an excellent idea. Why can't everyone be so helpful? Yeah, I modified the antenna, so now it broadcasts straight into outer space. Oh, man. So, any questions? Is Elton okay? Well, he'll be fully brained soon, I promise. When he comes out, tell him I'm waiting for him down by the docks, okay? Hey, do you want to help us save the... Typical. And that's why we need your help more than anybody's. Well, shut my mouth. I better go patrol the living quarters, guard the women folk and all. Say, is my hombre walking around yet? Not yet, but soon. I just hope he forgives me for acting like such a dang fool. And that's why finding your brain in particular was my highest priority. You know, I'll bet if JT wasn't so distracted, this wouldn't have happened. He's probably with that prissy little show pony right now. No, actually I think her mind's on other things at the moment. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll go see what's up. One of us at least should be guarding the sleeping quarters. Agent Crawler? What is the current situation? What's Citanium? Citanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Hmm? What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Why? Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Okay, that was definitely a lie. Because we are in the experiment. Of rebrainification. I love how they use a funnel for it too.
Okay then, well, with several brains, with several of the kids rebrained, and knowing our next rebrains will be going into, I think I'll leave this episode off here. So until next time, allons-y!